a wild couple of weeks for Black Ops 4 between the events in game and some things that have released as of recent times, but what's on deck this week is actually not as much confirmed as you might think. But there are still a lot of things that I want to talk about with you guys today in which we'll be taking a look at nine things to potentially look out for this week within Black Ops 4. Some things again confirmed, some things are more so just items that I want to run past you guys and it lets you know that it's possibly in the works right now. So with all that said, we have nine things to discuss here in this video, so let's just jump right into it. First things first, a little preamble to this is that unfortunately we no longer have that quad feed XP event or double XP in your favorite modes. That ended earlier today. The you guys missed out on over the past five days it was double xp and multiplayer and zombies you ended up having double tier progression you ended up having double nebulium plasma as well as double merits within blackouts so there's a lot to take advantage of over this for you guys in the states holiday weekend so hopefully you got to take advantage of this this past five days and you ended up adding in a ton of time to your ranks and your tiers your blackout rank your multiplayer or zombies rank whatever you're looking to do but unfortunately that ended earlier today so you won't have that option anymore but the first thing that we can look forward to in the now future as of this video going live is starting tomorrow we're more than likely end up seeing again a new featured playlist this is kind of a weekly staple at this point but this one i don't know if i'm too happy about this one because i'm bummed because it looks like tdm 100 is going to be on the chopping block that's what I think TDM should actually be, a score limit of 100, not 75, adds a little more longevity to the game and makes it a lot more enjoyable and makes some kill challenges even more interesting if you're going for, say, the 70 kill TDM challenge or any classic like that. I'm all for this being implemented on a regular basis and you might not agree, that's totally cool, but I think TDM 100 is solid. Now, it might be doing one of two things. One, it might be completely removed and gone and done, but the second option is, well, two, to keep it in the rotation on the featured tab in the actual find match selection screen. We're gonna end up going and looking at the four other plus that featured game mode there, plus all your core and hardcore modes throughout the game. If this happens, it might end up removing a current featured playlist, perhaps Gun Game, as that was actually thought to be overdue as is, based off a mention of it by Treyarch a few weeks back, stating that it wasn't gonna be sticking around after last Monday, but lo and behold, it's still there. So it might remove a game mode like Gun Game and take it out of its rotation spot in the featured tab. And additionally, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be ending up seeing the Endurance Mosh Pit stick around. I like this especially for tier progression, but there's been literally zero mention of it, of it staying or going. It hasn't really been mentioned in any official capacity at all though. So I guess no news is good news, right? Additionally, I can't help but mention that we are still long overdue for a limited time mode within Blackout, so maybe that ends up coming as well. That's something that we saw three of those, I'll come back to this again, three of those in a five day beta for Blackout, but we haven't seen anything outside of the Blightfather in-game event for Blackout since the launch of the game. Not even something where there's any even remote changes to the game mode itself, just something in-game that you can interact with. So curious to see if that'll be added in tomorrow. Number two on the list is of course, another staple here within this weekly update is that we're gonna be seeing more refreshes on Blackjack items and special orders. So right now in Blackjack shop on PlayStation 4, you end up having a legendary profit and torque theme from the Muertos collection. That being some of the pre-order bonuses that you had available and you only got to select one, unfortunately. Those are available for purchase and will be available until tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time when they'll refresh out and be replaced with something for another three to four days at that. The daily items, of course, always will end up refreshing. On Xbox One and PC, if I'm not mistaken, it also is the recon as well as battery Mortos themed items in the featured section of Blackjack Shop. And that will once again refresh out as well. And when you take a look at the special orders on PlayStation 4, the future is actually kind of unknown. We might end up going back to just uniforms and themes for each specialist. Again, both of those being available for purchase so you can activate those quest lines. But for Xbox One and PC, this leads us now into the third thing on the list here out of this, but we're going to end up seeing the Fall Firearms added in for those two platforms. Due to the seven day exclusivity window with PlayStation 4 and content coming a little early on that front, the Fall Firearms was actually not added into the special orders as of this past update last Tuesday. So that's something that if you guys are interested in it, again, I heavily don't agree with this bundle that's being put out there, 2000 COD points, for essentially two signature weapons, two variants, two cosmetics that are a third of the base game. And when you add in once again that we had one for free completely to everybody and then one was an exclusive pre-order DLC bonus, yeah, that's a hard no from me. 
So if you guys are interested in that, it is going to be added in as of tomorrow for you guys. But again, I'm not advocating that one at all, just giving you the cold hard facts. Moving along to a different topic before I end up going off in frustration. Now is when we start to move over into, again, the things that are more so possible, but not necessarily guaranteed. So the first thing we'll talk about here of this number four on the list is a potential title update. We haven't seen anything just yet that confirms this, no official mention or any tease from this from Treyarch saying that, hey, look, our next update is coming as of next week sometime. That usually means right around Tuesday. That's usually when all title updates drop. Tuesdays, sometimes Thursdays, but we haven't seen anything like that talking about a title update or the next weapon pass or anything like that. And while Treyarch has been a bit hush-hush on what they're talking about with updates since the last one they posted over on Reddit on the 21st. We have seen an update each Tuesday for the last four weeks now. So who's to say that that does not continue as of tomorrow? So that's something to keep your eye out for again, not necessarily guaranteed, but is it likely? maybe 50 50. Following that though, if we don't get an actual title update, I would expect some sort of playlist update again, not necessarily just only changing out the featured playlist and what's on offer there for players alike, but I'd also end up looking for this to potentially fix a various number of bugs that still persist. One big one that I had a lot of people tweeting me about was that attachments now disappear on your weapons. That's something that obviously is a pretty big thing. You go in, you want to play with your attachments and make your weapon better, but they don't necessarily actually showcase and even some like the reticles actually straight up disappear. So that's something that of course is a big issue right now. Other things like customization, renewing every prestige in multiplayer and blackout. That's something that is not necessarily a big thing, but it's super annoying to end up having to go and clear every single new icon in multiplayer and blackout each time you prestige. Again, not a huge deal, but certainly annoying if you're a bit OCD about it like me. Then things like characters I've noticed have been refreshing as well. I ended up using one character and then refreshing back to a default skin whenever I jumped into a match after winning. So that's something that might be an issue that is out there as a slight bug and other things considered So whether or not we get an actual title update I'd love to see if we get some fixes in terms of just some of these bugs ironed out Another thing that I'm really hoping for is the addition of Nuketown in custom matches. If you guys don't know, Nuketown now, of course, is available for Xbox One, PC, and PlayStation 4, but it's nowhere to be found in custom matches. You can't go in and play with your friends. You have to actually jump into a match online as the only way to end up playing this. Now, of course, you have it in various number of playlists. It's in the regular rotation now, but you still don't have that access to do anything that you'd like. And that's one thing that I really am excited to do because while it's already been figured out, somebody actually ended up glitching it into private matches matches, I still want to do the Easter egg for Nuketown in which you can end up launching the rocket during the game and also it ends up activating the sort of zombies mode on the mannequins like what we saw within Black Ops 3. So that's something that you can end up doing but of course not necessarily for everybody until it is available in private matches which it is yet to be, but I'm still hopeful that it does come, maybe even as of tomorrow's update. Another thing to look out for that we have absolutely no indication on if it will come this week or not, but that being the new maps that were leaked out via data mining, that being Seaside Sunset, as well as Firing Range Night. Now these were subtle variations of the maps already in game, slight lighting alterations and some dynamic weather on Seaside Sunset. And these look to be free maps added in, which I don't know if they'll be added in as of this week. Again, they were added in with the last title update, which indicates they are coming at some point in the near future. But as for when, that's the big question mark. It could be something that ends up getting added in as of this week, maybe next week, or maybe even as of two weeks from now, when we end up seeing the next operation start in 15 days time. Operation First Strike has 14 days left on that, so might be something that introduces us to another event happening within the game and a new season, if you want to put it that way. But that's something that it was added in, very interestingly, unbeknownst to many people as of this last title update. So it's just sitting there waiting for that proverbial flick of the switch to turn on and go public. Now, in relation to the idea of new things coming potentially with next operation, now might be when we start to see leaks regarding the content for next operation come out. We might end up seeing this if there's a title update tomorrow, we might see some more things squeak into the code in the underlying factors that may not be necessarily public to everybody, but if data miners are out there looking through the code, sifting through all of it and finding the assets, 
we might see some things we don't know of just yet or that we aren't necessarily supposed to see until as of next operation. So as of today, we are two weeks out from when Operation First Strike is on its last day. So as of tomorrow, two weeks out from when a new one will start. So we're going to start to see things more added in on the down low. So whether it be a title update that may or may not come tomorrow or a title update that may come as of next week, we're going to start to see some things slowly being added in. And therefore, it's up for grabs if somebody wants to data mine it. This week might be a little bit too early, so it's not something that I necessarily anticipate a ton of things happening, but just as a sort of prepper here, keep your eyes open for some solid leaks potentially coming in the next week to two weeks time. Additionally, if we end up seeing some things happen in terms of ideas for next operation, I would more so anticipate tier challenges coming as of next operation at this point, kind of adding them in as of tomorrow or maybe next Tuesday. Might be a little too late here, but now that I think about it, it might actually be perfect because people are going to be wanting to try and finish up that last second rush to get to tier 200 and get that final overall ICR blinding glory. But regardless, the final thing that we'll talk about here today is again, very unlikely that we actually see something of a massive reveal, but maybe some inklings once again, either in leaks regarding the data mined assets or maybe even a slight tease of some sorts from Treyarch themselves, but maybe a new specialist tease. We're promised one sometime in December that we're getting a new specialist, but it's not specified as of when. And truthfully, I think it'd be a great time for this to happen in conjunction with the launch of the next operation. So while it again might be a bit off compared to this week or next week, we might end up seeing some sort of tease or leak of something in relation to a new specialist at some point during this week. So keep your eyes peeled for that as well. But all in all, that's where we're gonna wrap it up here at this one. Again, not necessarily as much confirmed this week to look out for, but there's still a lot of things that were steadily approaching that I definitely say to keep your eyes and ears open for so that you can end up getting as much information here as possible about all of it. Now, of course, if any of these things happen, we'll keep you up to date here on the channel so you won't have to worry too much. But that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you guys want to see the most here out of this? Any that I mentioned or anything you want to throw into this list? I'm really hoping that we end up seeing some things regarding the next operation and potentially those new maps as well. I think that's what I'm very excited for here out of this. But that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you guys want to stay up to date with all things Black Ops 4, multiplayer, blackout, zombies, you name it, we got you covered with the best of updates, information, news, tips, tricks, best class setups, and other intriguing cool things like that. If any of that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those links are in the description below. Best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on both those. So check them out if you guys want to. And that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Mine is an espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.